This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation, specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e-learning to instructor-led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. So features are the kind of thing that you're going to develop. Uh, your developers will work on and build yourself. Um, or you may download them from um, some sort of an ISP, uh, ISV, who's going to be actually writing certain features and extensions to, uh, to SharePoint. So ultimately what you have, you have sort of the cloud that is the internet, right? And we can download features from there and get them. There are a lot of them available. So we download them perhaps to our local uh, client computer. Let's say it's uh, Windows 7, right? And now we have it here, and this might be my developer workstation. Okay, so I can work on the features there, and one of the main things about a feature is a .xml file that is a descriptive. In fact, it'll be called feature.xml. Now, there are other XML files that'll be available and accessible, but that's what we're going to get. Now, whether we downloaded it from the internet or we wrote it ourselves, because your developers may learn how to write some of these yourselves, we need to upload this into our SharePoint environment. So if this represents our SharePoint server, we need to upload this. Now, there's no particular upload tool. We simply have to copy it to the templates folder. This is a specific folder on your SharePoint implementation that's in your, um, in your root folder in SharePoint uh, called templates. Inside of templates is a folder called features. And you'll want to dump it in there. And what we need are the um, are the um, XML files to show up in a subfolder. Usually the subfolders are the ones that actually contain um, the, the uh, binaries that you're going to have as a part of your feature, but the XML file is the thing that describes it. Now, as an admin who is working in SharePoint, I have copied those over. I now have to import them uh, into SharePoint. The fact that the files live there is fine, but I'm going to run an import command, right? It's essentially adding uh, via the PowerShell. Okay, so I use PowerShell to import that into SharePoint. So now the SharePoint configuration knows that we have those features available. And then the last thing I do is I go into SharePoint and I activate. I need to choose an activate option. I can do that through the central administration, but you activate it. So these are the steps we go through. We download the features. We find inside of the feature that we've downloaded, or we wrote it ourselves, but we find this XML file. We copy all the files up to the templates location, and then we import it using the PowerShell, and then we activate it through the central administration console. These are the steps to work with and add new features into the environment.